What's up guys, Chris Jocelyn here, introducing the new Jocelyn Volk to the collection. So these are very special. It's the first time Michelin's done a vulcanized sole and they absolutely nailed it, turned out perfect. I really like the whole shoe in general, turned out really clean, simple. So we're gonna dive right into the main feature, which is the vulcanized sole. After seeing how well the cup soles did with the previous shoes, we challenged Michelin to try and make a vulcanized sole, and it turned out really well. Uh, Barney, Aiden, Nick, they've all been skating it and they really like it. Can't wait to get off these damn crutches so I can skate in them. So I wanted to keep the same top construction as the first shoe because it's everything that I like in a shoe. Just plain, simple, clean, smooth lines. Yeah, just so that when I look down and I see the shoe on my feet, it, it doesn't look too far off from the original. So we kept the double stitching for extra durability and the lace savers, just like the original ones. Not only do we have the double layer of foxing tape around the whole shoe, but we also have a third layer right here for extra support and durability. Wanted to give you guys the most durable vulcanized shoe we could possibly do to hold up in the lineup with the other two shoes, the cup soles. The insole of the shoe is not just your typical vulcanized insole, it's extra padding in the heel for some more support. We kept the name the same on the insoles. And for two of the colorways, we carried over the Etnies Snicked logo, the black and white, and the navy with the gum. Love the way these look, ready to go fresh out the box. Yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna be stoked on it.